What's going on guys, we're out Pop Golden here, and normally, I don't complain too much, unless I do and nobody tells me about it, but, enough is enough. Niantic has such good things going for them with Pokemon Go, and the Battle League, and all the good stuff that they do, but they just keep finding ways to make it impossible for everybody to enjoy, I feel like. When they added the Go Battle League after a while, when I started really enjoying it, I realized just how good of an idea it was to get all these trainers that have such competitive spirits to not just put Pokemon in gyms and there's no real, like, one-on-one -on -one action going. It's very easy going. It's not really a, a sport, I guess. Um, there's no real competitiveness to it, I feel like. But this was such a good addition, such a game changer, and I'm a big fan of the Battle League. But the lag, the lag is, I don't even, season two was so good. And now I don't understand what, I'm just going to jump right into these clips. I don't understand how, maybe I'm missing something. And if I am, I hope I am. That maybe the animations are just off. Or maybe, maybe there's something going on. But if anyone knows what exactly it is, please comment and if you don't have any idea what it is then subscribe so we can figure it out together so here we go first clip oh i gotta say starting now otherwise i'm gonna lose my place sorry three two one now all right so skarm i switched into the zoom world they were switched lost so i tried to catch the ice beam with skarm catch the ice beam now watch ready that was a normal one that is a completely normal interaction but pay attention to that moment please now we see another attack coming this time it's the player off now really watch right here i am tapping the screen if you need to repause and rewind that or just rewind that uh, you can literally see where i'm hitting the screen and bubbles are nowhere to be seen except on my opponent's side coming in and now again Tapping the screen, nothing is happening when I'm tapping the screen. Why is that? Cut to another clip right here. We blocked the cross chop. Again, little, maybe it was okay, but it's going to get way worse in a sec. Don't worry if it doesn't look too bad. So here's the rock slide. A little bit of lag right there. Now it comes out. Now watch. I'm tapping the screen. Nothing comes out. Oh, I'm one quick move away from knocking it out. Super convenient. Had I been able to get that quick move off without any lag, that much champ would be knocked out. Now look at the game state that I'm in. I'm going to have to lose that game. I don't remember. This set, this is all from the same set. All these games are from the same set. The same set of five, I mean. So here we go again. Rock Slide, Stump Fisk, definitely taking its time, comes out, knocks it out. Now, we see a zoom roll. I'm literally pressing the button. You see how long it takes, but then it, that time it corrects itself and, and fills up accordingly. But that you don't want to be in the unknown as a player right there. You want to know where you're at and not... It's just complete panic mode. So here we go. Another example. I kind of went through these quickly. So Sky Attack, they block it here. Okay. I think that's fair. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I like when the game doesn't even go back to the one-on-one the -on -one fighting screen right here. A little lag on my opponent's end, it seemed like. So that doesn't make it fair in my head, though. Look at this right there. That is... It, it's just not... He just, I can't even say anything. The power punch. Look at that is the worst of the worst. I literally had my charge move charged up. It shouldn't even go back to the the one-on-one -on -one screen. If it's coming out of that camera angle, and you're going to see it in the next clip, if you hit that charge move, it should cut right back to your Pokemon. Charge moves take priority, and that is it. And right there, I literally didn't even get to use my full powered-up charge move because their quick attack had priority. That is horrendous horrendous why would they do that here we go hydro cannon i go 
that's a perfect example of it. I think that's why I kept this clip in here because as that camera's panning back to both Pokemon, you hit your charge move. Oh, nope, right back, get priority. That's exactly how it should be. And right here, look at that. I'm tapping the screen, nothing is happening. The state of the game is completely different now. I can't switch into my Azumarill and try to catch that Hydro Cannon. I'm going to have to waste a shield. I didn't want to do it, so now i got to prepare it again. Try to make the play. There's the switch. Actually kind of scary because the window drops. It doesn't show you the switch right away. And even if it's not, it's still a form of lag. Just the animation lag or the actual gameplay lag, whatever it is, it's just not, not what you want at all when you're trying to... This is not VGC where it's turn-based. This is an action fighting game. You're, you need to know... Let's watch this one, please. And we'll keep jumping into it. This is crazy. So, block the bone club. I don't even know where this is going. Okay, so here's an Obama Snow. Weather ball leaves us okay. Hitting rock slide. Why is it going back to the, the fight screen? I like it. That... That's just time for them to get a quick move in, which they shouldn't get in. I guess this is just the end of the game, so we go back into the... I don't even know. I, this set of five, I went three and two by a miracle with all this garbage going on. Um, let me say this. I have very little faith in Niantic as a company. And I think they have struck absolute gold with Pokemon Go. I think Sword and Shield took Pokemon in a very bad direction. Um, that kind of solidified the direction that they've been taking it to for a while. Except this time it was like way, way worse with a lot of things. But that could be another video. That's just my opinion. But Pokemon Go, it has it, it, so much potential and has been doing so much right. Still a lot wrong, but a lot of right, and it has all the potential in the world, and Niantic makes millions of dollars a week, and I don't understand why they can't hire, like, one person from Apple to just fix all the stuff that's going on, because clearly their IT guys can't just handle it. It's, the battle stuff is just one aspect of the game that needs working on. Another thing, not battle related, my adventure sync turns off every couple days. Hasn't done it in a week or two, surprisingly. Maybe they fix something, but this has happened before where it's corrected for a week or two and then it stops working again. Basically, and I have two phones. I have a backup phone for a second account so I can trade with myself, extra shiny hunt and whatnot. And uh happens on both. Adventure sync just stops working if you go to turn it back on it's not on if you go to turn it back on it says like gotta it just shows you the screen where it says you can't do you gotta go to settings privacy your health or whatever all that stuff is and then if you go to health there's no option in an iphone ios to turn it back on it's completely gone when you re-download pokemon go you have to delete the app re-download it and then when you go to health and turn everything on, the little switch bar is there and all the options are there. But after a few days, it just goes away. And then you can't adventure sync at all. And the only solution I found is to delete and reinstall the app. Which isn't the end of the world, but it's tedious to do every three or four days. It's crazy. On two different phones. And I said, you know what, this is a big enough problem. This is becoming enough of a hassle. I shouldn't have to do this constantly. Let me email Niantic. And their responses were so horrendous and generic and just like, nah, like the lack of care that they have for the people that put so, so much time and effort into this game. It is a lifestyle. It's more than just a game. People are grinding out here constantly and they are just throwing us to the wolves when stuff happens. The emails that they sent me were literally, um, turn it on, 
go to your settings, turn, you know, and I'm like, all right, I, the original email that I sent them was everything I just explained to you guys. Unfortunately, turn, I can't turn it on. There's no option to. I need to delete and reinstall. It seems to be the only problem, but then it doesn't fix it for an extended period of time. And then they ignore most of it. So I have to explain again. I have deleted and reinstalled it. It's not a proper fix. It's not a long-term solution for that and then they have someone else email me and it's just completely irrelevant to the problem all right i have the email here i couldn't take it this is a third email the first two were from one person not helping at all the third one is from a new person and it says this hi trainer thank you for writing in again and sharing your experience it is possible the adventure sync would have been disabled after the new update whenever you update the app or re-log in please check whether the adventure sync is enabled or not we collect and share the information you provide about your experience how does that help me at all it is possible the adventure sync would have been disabled after the new update whether you update it or relog in, please check whether it's enabled or not. Of course I'm checking if it's enabled or not. Why? What? What is the, the cap for the support with a company like this? Is it, do they assume they're talking to all little kids playing that it doesn't work, it doesn't work? Oh, well, is it on? No, not on. Oh, well. Turn it on. It's on. It works. What if an actual human being has a problem like me? And I say, Hi, I've tried all these things. None of it seems to be working. Can you please help me? Is it on? Did you turn it on? No help whatsoever. I told that to a buddy of mine, and he said that when the game first came out years ago at some point, he put, this happened on two separate occasions, he put two Pokemon in gyms, two different Pokemon, and they vanished completely. He never got them back. He emailed Niantic, let them know the problem, and they told him Pokemon that are transferred to the professor cannot be returned. And they gave him 20 Pokeballs. That is not even beginning to give a damn about an issue at all that's just going that's just covering your ears with stacks of hundreds you're just going yep yeah, uh huh ah, nope nothing free okay yep yeah, uh the cheapest possible thing you could get a very small quantity of it and goodbye so if anyone, I know there's probably tons, endless stories like that, like mine, different things, relevant things, but this isn't even a cry for help to Niantic. I don't know what this is. We love the game. We're not going to stop playing, but we do know, the community knows, A, they are terrible at maintaining a game of this magnitude, and B, I really don't think they give a shit about it. If you go, I don't know if they changed it, I'm sure they haven't, but I think it was their Instagram page I went on. Pokemon Go is not even the first thing on their page. Like, something is more important. And even if it is, take pride in everything that you do. Doesn't seem like they do. I don't know what to do to fix it. Thanks so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one, baby.